Now you guys are going to get to see what I grew up watching. Let's see how many of these I remember. Hi, uh, it's my birth year. Please ignore the camera movement. I didn't watch that. Never really liked it, but still. I do not remember this intro at all. Then again, it has been literally years. I never really watched it a lot. I only watch it if I know where I way out or something I really want to watch was after it. So I basically only I watched it if I was stuck. I never really liked Arthur. I don't know why, I just didn't. Oh, I loved Martha Speaks growing up. I even had a book. I loved reading it. And my grandma didn't let me watch it for reasons that I will not state. And again, I the only really, the only parts I really enjoyed were the charter parts, and I really like the main stuff. Oh, I love Diego, probably because it was animal related. I never really liked it. Funny story, me and my kindergarten best friend act my kindergarten best friend actually had a Barney doll and we had that stay we staged a problem and so that he he'd come. Oh, I absolutely loved Caillou growing up. Oh, I loved that show. I was never really able to watch. I don't really remember actually ever watching it that much growing up. Did it air after 2007? Or any time? I never liked Thomas. I just, I just didn't. I don't know why. I just wasn't interested. Oh my gosh, I'm getting mean flashbacks with this music. Oh, Blue's Clues! That was one of my favorites. Not really in, into the new one. I just, I'm the kind of person that likes the original stuff because I grew up on the original stuff. So I never really watched Phineas Ferb. Phineas Ferb. Because as I was just mentioning, I grew up on the old cartoons from like the 90s and maybe even the 80s. So, Scooby Doo and that kind of stuff. And in case I'll show. I'm not really. Even when I got a. The only part that I really thought was funny was that one part I saw with that actually. I only saw a bit of an episode of that. And I, the only thing I really liked. Oh, hey, I'm pretty sure I watched that. I don't remember, though, because it was years ago. That dinosaur looked familiar, and I'm pretty sure I have, in fact, watched this at least a little bit. Uh, I never really liked Franklin. I mean, it was interesting, but I never really got into it. It's one of those ones that I only watched if I had no choice. Like, if something I really liked was stuck. Oh, I loved a Super Y. Probably because it related to like stories, and I loved books when I was little. Still kind of do. Just don't read as much. Oh, yeah, I don't remember watching that. I don't really remember if I actually liked it or not, but still. I mean, the villain's kind of funny. It took me forever to remember the name of that when I came across it again. <laughs> like that one song called Mine. Pretty sure that's what it's called. Oh, hey! I was a science kid myself growing up, so I absolutely loved this show. That night, I absolutely adored the songs. Oh my god, you. Uh, 
I'm sorry, what? I, I've never heard of this. Oh, I absolutely loved that show. I owned in DVD. Pretty sure it got passed on to my niece. Oh, I miss that show so much. Oh, it's the monkey of the day! Oh, it's the monkey! Alright, Little Einsteins. That's kind of neutral with that one. It depended on the episode. Actually, a lot of stuff I watch depends on the episode. I don't like every episode. Going on a trip in our favorite wagon ship. Going through the sky, Little Einsteins. Oh, come on. I, I never really liked Bob the Builder. And again, another one I only watched if I was stuck. I think it was long to kind of catch it now that I think about it, though. Oh, that was one of my favorites! I'd watch every time it came on. I loved it. I also really like that. Spoiler, Max. I'm really glad that Max in later seasons actually got to talk instead of just one word the entire episode. I guess I kind of like Handy Manny. I don't remember. I just, all I know is, is they never really watch it much. Although I did watch that crossover with Otso and Handy Manny. <gasps> oh, I absolutely loved Dragon Tales! Of course, I was restricted to the episodes I was on my DVD. I think I still have that DVD. Sorry if I talk too fast. And I never really watch shows like Adventure Time. My grandma didn't let me. Cause I guess there were some adult themes in there somewhere. I don't. I never really watched a lot of, like, 2000 shows that had major adult themes. Believe it or not, I actually didn't really like Mickey Mouse Clubhouse that much. It just never really interested me as a kid. I might have liked it when I was really young, but I didn't. I kind of lost interest once I got a little bit older, like a couple of years after I started watching. Oh, I loved Berenstain Bears! My favorites. I owned a few books from it and absolutely loved them. I read them all the time once I learned how to read. Oh, I absolutely loved Clifford. I also really liked Clifford's puppy day puppy days. I said puppy. My girl do too. I absolutely loved Clifford. Especially he Clifford's puppy days. Oh wonder pets! Yes! Yet another one I absolutely adored. We're not too big and we're not too tough. When we work together, we got this. Uh, not really. And again, I didn't really watch a lot of shows like that. I stick amazingly to Boomerang. Oh, hey, Word World. I watched a lot of big growing up. Anyway, back to why I was saying I only really stuck to Disney, Nickelodeon, and Boomerang. And also PBS Kids. Those are the main ones I watched. Oh! I absolutely adored Word Girl as well. It was amazing. But yet again, I didn't watch every episode. It's like that with every show I watch. I don't like every single episode. Okay. And another show I liked when I first uh, found it, but I eventually lost interest. Although there were a few episodes I actually enjoyed watching. Hi, I think I've seen like a couple episodes that when I was little and also when my mom and siblings were living with me and my grandparents. Oh, hey, I watched that a bit growing up. Well, not this version. I'm pretty sure there was like a computer version. Like, it wasn't hand drawn animation. Oh, yeah, I watched that a bit in science class when I still went to school. <laughs> I really liked it. Cause as I said, I used to be a really big science kid, but school kind of had me lose a bit of interest in most of the topics. I still do like it. Oh, yeah, I watched that a bit. Yet again, I didn't watch every episode, but still, I really liked it. 
I really like that episode with the trolls. New family. Also really like the crossover with Elena. Okay, that's one of the ones I watched a lot growing up because my grandma would play it a lot. She absolutely loved the Flintstones. Of course, I didn't really like it that much, but I did still enjoy watching it. Oh, hey. That's actually one of the ones I actually kind of liked. I really like Cosmo. He's really funny. He was my favorite. Excuse me, what is this? Oh, it's that show, Cat Dog. I've heard of it, but I've never watched it. Oh, I watched that a lot growing up. Umi. Zumi. Umi. Umi, Zumi. Umi. Oh, oh, the memories, man. Want us to save the day. And again, one I never really watched. I didn't really like it whenever I did get into the episode. Because then again, a lot of adult themes. I was fine with the adult themes from the, like the 90s and maybe even 80s cartoons. Just not a lot. It just wasn't very much. Oh, wait, it's over. Anyway, yeah, I watched a lot of stuff. You basically just got a glimpse into my childhood there. Sorry if I talk too fast occasionally. I do that a lot when it's something that interests me. Oh my gosh, it's a freaking horse fly. Go back to a freaking horse. Go bother one of them, not me. Sorry about that. So, yeah. <laughs> first, up, first video in a while that isn't gotcha related. <laughs> it's just childhood related. So, yeah. Bye, guys.